Okay, so seems to be motoring along quite well with these today. Uh, this is about the oh, oh anyway. Before I start confusing myself, this is number six. This is video number six that will be up on YouTube shortly. Um, but uh, I, must, I think this is the third one today. Actually, this is the third one that I've done today. Before it's been taking me for a while, but I think I'm getting used to how to sort of do this now. Fiddling with things. Dust everywhere. <laughs> Hate dust. Um, God, listen to me. Anyway, yeah. So, uh, as I say, this is video number six that's going up, um, and this is in the canal basin where Charlie, if you remember, well, I keep. Th why am I doing that? If you remember, uh, as if you've got a very short memory span or something. Um, <laughs> sorry. Uh, I mean, like, yeah. So this is where. Charlie did a little video about the crazy guy that asked him for a cigarette or something and uh, he had a little joke with him, a bit of banter and the guy went a bit bonkers and uh, threatened him in front of his family um, so anyway but yeah you were, you were doing a video there about that and, and uh, again like I say it was just because you're in Castlefield and, and Castlefield like I say for many years in some ways was my home although I was homeless like I say, I was living on the, in the oh, in fact I was sleeping in the archway which you'll see in the is it the next video? I think it is, yeah the next video that I'll be uploading after this one uh, you'll actually see where I used to sleep you'll actually see the uh, archway um, it's a heck of a lot, again it's different from what it looks it was back when I was sleeping there there was a big metal door on it for a start off uh, and uh, there was a lot more rubbish in there as well by the way um, different weird objects like, like when I say weird I mean just like I couldn't work out what they were for originally maybe they were I think it might have been a garage of some sort like one of those garages where people re get their cars repaired or whatever anyway uh, as I say there was a lot of useless rotting junk in that place at the time but anyway like I say the thing is that uh, just before I go there this video is just me explaining a bit about okay I just thought I had to sort of add this little piece on because I kind of got my webcam went decided to stop working in mid flow uh, so I'm adding this little p last tiny little piece on here uh, just because it just sounds odd me cut off in mid sentence um, anyway yeah, so this is the next video about, you know, speaking about Castlefield, and after that it will be the place I actually slept in. So, hopefully, um, you know, watch and enjoy. If, yeah. Okay, cheers. Right. Okay, Charlie, so, basically, I'm not sure exactly where you were stood, mate. Uh, I've got a feeling we're either in this middle island bit, if you, like, if you want to call it an island. Um, in between the two little, um, great, I can't even think what to call them, <laughs> uh, where the boats are tied up anyway, I guess, I think you may have been in the middle bit, but I don't know, you might have been on near the side of the uh, hotel that bit, uh, anyway, I'm going to walk up to the end here, uh, and then just sort of film around a little bit, speak to the camera a bit, um, and uh, yeah, and then I'll take you to where I actually slept around here. And like I say, it might be hard to picture it now, but you've got to try and think and picture this place when it was still really derelict. I mean, you know, there were still barges here, but you know, the thing is, all the buildings and and all the structures around were basically, you know, like I say, nobody used them. Nobody, no people came around here. Do you know what I mean? Well. I mean, very few. Uh, see, uh, certainly not people to live, and certainly not people to work. Um, you know, people just came around here to either like myself to kip down or, or to scavenge around to see what they could find. I guess whatever. Um, but nobody actually lived or worked here. Do you know what I mean? Not for many, many years, anyway. You know. And then, of course, when they built the fort, the Roman fort, they sort of once they dug that up and they started. Uh, reconstructing it and I guess it all started from there then it all started to get developed and it even started to develop 
slightly when I was still here to some degree although not on the sort of you know as much as it is now do you know what I mean but uh, but anyway as you can see and I've just noticed the sun's kind of shining on the thing there so it might be a bit difficult to see with the light so I'll pan around this way um, and then oh my it's just as bad there <laughs> the light is a little bit awkward because they've got shiny clouds over there that are reflecting a lot of light and the sun's in that direction behind me so you know it might be difficult sometimes to see me or see the things I'm pointing at which is a bit of a shame but never mind I'll just try and try my best like I say but yeah I don't know exactly where like I say you were standing when you did that video um, about oh what was it there was a guy the angry guy that you bumped into with your wife and that wasn't it the street guy I think he said or possibly street guy I don't know uh, but he wanted some uh, drugs or something uh, and you were standing here talking about it uh, and uh, Anyway, as I say, I think you were standing on this side. You could have been standing over there, actually, next to the uh, to the sports and leisure club part of the um, Castlefield Hotel thing. So you may have been standing there. I'm not sure. Or on this bit, I'm not even sure if I got myself in shot. Then I'm, my arm's starting to ache. And <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, never mind. They're my videos. They might not be brilliant, and they might not be news at ten or whatever. But you know, they're my videos and. Who cares where they're flipping shot professionally or or whatever? Do you know what I mean? Uh, just as long as I get my little message out, I don't really care. Um, you know, everyone else does it. Why not me? You know, and people keep telling me I've got an interesting story to tell. You know, considering where I came from and the things I'm doing now. You know, so maybe I should start telling my story. Maybe in this format rather than just write it down. Uh, being dyslexic, it's a bit rather difficult writing. But anyway, right, where are we going? Oh yeah, I'm going to take you to where I used to kip down now. So um, I'll leave it there until I get to the thing. I'll show you where we, where I used to sleep. See you in a bit.